Now that you've seen a couple of my shoes, I want to show you the difference between barefoot shoes and normal shoes. Realistically, barefoot shoes should be the norm, but we'll get into that later. I'm going to show you two different models. One of them is the Reebok CrossFit Lite, and the other one is the Stevie Williams Super Pro shoe. So here we have two different shoes. Both of them are made for athletic performance, but there's a clear difference between both of them. One of them is natural, and the other one is quote unquote normal. Now this on the right is the Reebok CrossFit Lite TR, and this is the Supra Stevie Williams Pro shoe. Now this is a still supposed to be a skateboard shoe inspired by basketball, and this is a CrossFit shoe inspired by powerlifting. Now I came into contact with both these shoes in two different seven periods of my life, but I realized that the principle of barefoot shoes wins in this case over this one. So if you look at the toe box here, I try to hi highlight it here a little bit, but it's a lot more wide on the right than on the left. The left shoe has a symmetrical outsole, whereas the shoe on the right has a asymmetrical outsole. That basically just means that this is basically more pointy and this is more wide. If you look at the toe box here, you can see that this comes to a point on the left and this kind of comes on an arching circle on the right. Now, again, these are two different shoes for two different purposes, but the remaining factor remains the same. They both have a toe box that either gives your foot less mobility or more mobility. And this is what's fundamental to skateboarding. Skateboarding is an activity that uses your feet. And so if you're going to be on your feet all the time, you're definitely going to want to have a shoe that reflects this. But if your shoe on the left here is pointy, that means you're going to have a lot more restriction than the shoe on the right. And that's fundamentally one of the difference between barefoot shoes and normal shoes. So here's the difference between a normal shoe and a barefoot shoe. If you look to the left here, my big toe is pushed inward by all that material on the right. Whereas my barefoot shoe, it goes around the toe box and allows my feet to actually splay out. I've noticed over the years that my big toe actually pushes inward. And that is surprisingly what causes bunions. And so the fundamental issue with shoes nowadays is that they're made to look normal like this, whereas your feet should naturally splay like this. And even if you size up for a shoe, it sizes up in terms of space going forward, but not in terms of width from left to right. On the right, this shoe actually has a lot more space on the left and the right, but it has a little bit too much space in the front. What would be better is if the shoe had a lot more space for the big toe display to the left, and a lot more for a pinky display to the right. That way, I would have maximum stability while I'm in the shoe. But you have to visually see this. You need to see that there is a difference between normal shoes 